What's going on, Ant Loop TV gang? It's your boy Ant Loop back with another banger, man. Like I said, I always got to start off the channel with showing you guys, letting you know, hey, thank you so much, man, for the love, the support, all the comments, likes, the subs. Oh, man, the subs have been going up. Anyway, on the road to 1K, this is the next video. You know, we got to keep the fire content always rolling. Um, I've been seeing this one online a lot, so I figure I'd do one myself. Three first guns I'm gonna grab if shit hits the fan. Um, gun number one, we're gonna jump right into it. I don't wanna make it a too, too long of a video. Every, you guys should already know. That is my Glock 17 Gen 4. And we're gonna do a safety check. This one is loaded because like I said, Bedside firearm, always loaded, but as you can see, it's safe. Nothing in it, everything's good. She's good. So, lock that back. That is my Glock 17 Gen 4. Look at that, she's beautiful. So, the reason this would be my first of three firearms if anything hits the fan, simply which because first and foremost, it was my very first firearm. Like I said, I've shot it the most out of any gun that I own. Favorite or not, I've shot this the most, trust me. Um, I just, you know, quick draw, sight find, everything, no worries, no issues whatsoever. Um, I feel like I can seal it, you know what I mean? Hold 17 in it, um, so no issues there whatsoever. It gives me exactly what I need and super reliable. You know, I got the light, sorry about that, no problem, but I feel like that's always helpful to have. It's got the green beam on it as well, and then I've got the hex dragonfly up top. But again, first gun I'm grabbing if, you know, stuff hits the fan. Glock 17 Gen 4, very, very nice, very, very good firearm. Next one that I'd grab if, you know, it hits the fan, number two out of three. We got the Kill Tech KSG, 12 gauge pump action shotgun. We're gonna do the safety check. As you can see, there are the two feeding tubes that it holds. You can see the white caps, meaning there's nothing in there. And the chambering mechanism right there, meaning there's nothing being cycled. She's safe. So, one more look. That's the Kill Tech KSG 12 gauge pump action shotgun. And the reason this being second on the list, I don't know about for you, but for me, and leave this in the comments what you think about it as well, I feel like you can solve almost any problems with a shotgun. This one holds 14, as you know, as I've explained in the other videos, seven in each tube, two and three quarter shells, double buck. My preferred shotgun, 12 gauge KSG, Grip, you know, got the vertical grip, help you out. This is a street sweeper, man. This is everybody needs one. Everybody, I feel like everybody has a variation of some type of shotgun, whether it be pump or semi-automatic in your collection. This is the one I'm grabbing. Kill Tech KSG. And then my third that I would grab, you know, third on the list, everything hits the fan. Come on, go. Go. Sorry, my dog. I have the AK-47. That is chambered in the 762 by the 39. And we're gonna do a safety check. As you can see, there is nothing in there. She's empty there. Mag, you know, there's no mag in it, so she's safe. Everything is safe. Good to go. 
Oh man, like I said, man, this is my battle rifle. This is my weapon of choice that I absolutely love. It's got the hollow sun optic up top. Let's get a full look at that. Gosh, man, I just, I cannot get over how this thing is, man. Again, this is if you're out in the open and you need obviously a little bit longer range than what the pistol or the shotgun is gonna give you. Of course, more rounds as well too because this holds 30 or if you get any bigger mags, but you know, the 30 is what I have, so it holds 30. Like I said, gives you a little bit more distance, a little bit more, you know, kick behind your bullets, everything you're shooting. But this would be my third weapon of choice I would grab top three and again i do want to be clear it's not in any order just depends on what the situation is but gotta have this ak-47 chambered in the 762 by 39 again completely because this is what i like grip optic you know some people prefer the iron sights nothing wrong with that but that's just how i prefer to have it but yeah Got to shoot a little bit faster, you know, got to spray a little bit farther and got to have a little bit more shots. This is what I'm using. And that does it. But I always have one more thing to throw in. Those were the firearms. Before I do anything about anything. Always have the vest, man. I'm gonna put it on regardless, no matter what. No matter what. And I'm gonna do some uh, workout. I got some, somebody hit me in the comments just to do some workouts with this on. I'm gonna do some videos of that too. Once I get the plates, obviously, to make it a little bit more heavy, but again, get yourself some good armor, man. Super cheap, really reliable. Definitely recommend it. But all right. Those are my three firearms that I'm going to be selecting if anything were ever to hit the fan. Um, those are the three of my choice. Always, you know, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. On the road to 1K, man. And we're going to do something big when we hit 1K. Something big. We're going to do something really, really nice, man. But thank you again for all the love and support. On to the next. And one more thing before I go, YouTube, I would just like to say that, uh, you know, I am licensed. I have my CWP, which is my concealed weapons permit. I do carry every single day and I do train often as well, too. So it's not like this is just something that I just, you know, picked up and got into and really didn't, you know, learn the background behind things. I recommend everybody should have firearms, yes, but do it the right way. You know, definitely take some type of classes to learn everything beforehand. Always stay super safe, but hey, you can definitely stay legally dangerous in the process too. So you definitely know about that. Shout out to my boy GHG Hustle for that one. He definitely put me on. But again, on the road to 1K, like, comment, and subscribe. We out.